looking forward to, uh, to getting home and playing a game at uh, Aaron Carter Stadium. Excited about um, you know, the home opener and um, players have really had a great day of practice today. It was you know, tough travel coming back on the West Coast. I think we got back home around 7.30, I think when it was all said and done, um, Saturday morning. So, you know, I think our guys had a chance to rest up a little bit Saturday. I thought we had a really good day of practice on Sunday and followed it up with a really good day today, Tuesday. So I'm excited about, you know, the way this team is practicing. I think they practice with a lot of intent. And, um, you know, I think we're excited to play. I really do. I think that we realize we made some mistakes uh, Friday night that we can correct. And I think our guys are anxious to get back out there and perform better. Uh, but I was encouraged after watching the film about a lot of the things that we did, um, you know, against Stanford. You know, I think we have made some big strides from where we were last year and love the way our guys competed uh, when their back was against the wall, you know, on both sides of the ball. Um, and so anyway, I was pleased to see that. You know, I've been impressed uh, with Long Island, what I've seen from, from their team. Uh, you look at their, um, you know, they've got a good quarterback that, that can make plays. He's got some experience. Running back had 128 yards, I believe, against Albany. He's a good player. He's a big, strong, physical, tough runner. Uh, you know, like their defensive front a lot. You know, there, there are some uh, guys inside that are, you know, can be a problem. I've got a big physical linebacker that can really run. So, you know, a good football team. They took Albany, who's their conference champion, to the, to the brink last week. Really, a very similar game to what we had against Stanford. You know, they pretty much dominated the game, um, you know, in terms of yardage and moved the football and, and just kind of made some mistakes that, that uh, kept them from beating a really good team. So, uh, you know, our guys will, will have to play really, really good. And we're excited just to, you know, get, get an opportunity to go play again, uh, in particular at home. You touched on some of the mistakes, but when you kind of had a chance to sit back and watch some of the other games, I guess some of the other mistakes, case did that kind of add to the encouragement for the defense game? Yeah, I mean, look, I was I was encouraged to the way we, you know, by the way we played. Um, you know, we had a number of personal foul penalties. Some of them, quite frankly, I had a little bit of a problem with. You know, I thought the game was officiated, you know, very soft. You know what I mean? I mean, I thought it was. Um, you know, we teach our players to play to the whistle, and there were some times where I thought we played to the whistle and didn't do. Um, more than that, that we got penalized, was a little disappointed with that. Uh, and then there's some things that we did wrong, you know, that we have to improve, improve on. So, you know, the thing that I liked was, you know, we had no pre-snap penalties, had no offsides, no false starts. Um, you know, the stuff that we had was us trying to be physical, us trying to finish plays. Um, you know, now some of the, there was one or two things that were probably lack of discipline that we've got to get fixed. And, and that's been the big focus this week is to fix those lack of discipline penalties because we can't do that. But, you know, when you go back and you look at the game and, and you put it in context, I mean, there's, you know, there, we could have pulled away from them, um, you know, several times in the game. We didn't, and we were fortunate to win. But, you know, I thought we played pretty solid football on both sides of the, of the ball. Um, against, uh, I think, it's going to be an improved football team. I think Stanford's much improved over where they were last year. I think they'll end up having a good football team and and uh, certainly uh, be very, very competitive. Coach, uh, Marcel Brooks had one and a half sacks. Yeah. He got one taken away from that face mask. Can you kind of talk about yeah. his emergence? Yeah, I'm excited to see you know Marcel go and do that. I think. Um, you know, it's kind of been a long road for Marcel. Just, you know, he's been through a lot uh, since he's been at TCU. Um, you know, I think even before I got here. And, and uh, you know, going into year three, he's, he's healthy for the first time. I think he's mature, matured and maturing. I think he understands, you know, sometimes when you're a really, really talented football player like Marcel, is you, you, you think you can rely on you know, your athletic ability. You've got to play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And you've got to be assign assignment sound and you've got to do all these things right, play within the framework of the defense, you know, be accountable to, to your teammates. And, 
handle your business off the field and all the stuff. Um, and, and he's improved in all those areas. And I think it carried over to his performance and he's healthy, you know, and I think he's healthy because he's worked harder and trained harder than he has in the past. I think he's been more consistent. Um, and that's allowed him to get on the field and, and be able to use his athletic ability now because he is, um, he is much more accountable. So I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, where this goes, you know, because he is a, you know, he's a, he's a can really rush a passer. I mean, he's got some, he's got a burst. He can still improve on a lot of things. You know, his get off can get better, can time things up a little bit better, get a better jump. Uh, but he's got a knack for making plays when he gets in games. I mean, he just does. And so, you know, just got to continue to be consistent and get better and better. But I'm expecting, you know, good things out of him as we move forward. Jack had to kind of switch positions due to some injuries. What do you see his role being Saturday night? Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I think like anything else, I mean, you know, the big the big focus for us was try to, you know, try to get the best players out there, you know, and, and we kind of had a little bit of a log jam at that inside receiver position and we bounced some, some guys around and tried to create the best, you know, two deep that we can and three deep and, and we feel good about guys, you know, pretty much three deep in all those positions. Um, you know, you look at tight ends, I like the three deep there. I like the three deep at the left outside receiver position. I like the three deep at the at the slot position. I kind of like the three deep at the right outside position if we get some guys back. So, you know, I think we're, you know, we expect Dalen to come back. We expect JoJo Earl to come back. Uh, so between those two, I think it's going to give us, you know, a pretty solid three deep and allow us to rotate some guys. Jack played 70 plays, which is probably too many. But he has an ability to do that. And the interesting thing about the wide receiver position is some guys can play every play. Some guys get tired. I mean, it's just, it's a weird thing. It doesn't really have to do with what kind of shape they're in. It's, it's more just almost how they're built and, and um, you know, just kind of their, a lot of it's personality and things. And so anyway, he's a guy that can play a lot of snaps. So I kind of anticipate probably staying with the same lineup this week. Uh, but again, it'll be good to get some guys back and, and get them back in the mix and you know get them going. I think Jordan Bailey will have an increased role um, as well, and, and you know we're excited about some of the things he can do as well. So really like the group, and I think they're getting better. I expect Eric McAllister to get more reps this week, in particular. Um, so anyway, I think it's going to end up being a good rotation. Jerry Front, do you have an update on Haas and Nate? Yeah, Haas Haas going to be out for couple of weeks. I think, you know, my guess is two, maybe, uh, maybe a little longer, you know, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but he's actually way ahead of, of, uh, of where we thought he would be at this stage. Major's kind of in the same boat, probably going to be at least a couple of weeks. Um, and then we'll kind of see how he progresses. Coach, when you uh, look at the offensive line and how they play, what were some of the positives you saw on the line? What were some of the negatives you saw? The yeah, line? you know, I thought the, the big thing was, like I said earlier, you know, there were no false starts. Um, you know, it was, we got penalized with, uh, you know, with Luke Brockermeyer. Um, but that was the, or excuse me, James Brockermeyer. There's so many Brockermeyers. Um, but James Brockermeyer and, uh, you know, which again, I don't know, he was playing to the whistle, but, but I thought that was, um, I thought it was a good performance. What I liked was, I liked Ben Whitfield getting reps. Uh, I thought he played well when he came in the game. You know, I love the rotation we have going right now, um, you know, with, with Cole Deary. And I think it's good to keep him fresh. I think he really plays well when he's fresh. And I think that the fact that him and Remington both got some rest, I think, helped that situation. You know, Cole will play some center. Um, and so, you know, just that, the possibility with all that stuff in there, and then Bruno, I thought, played solid overall. You know, I mean, it's like anything else. I mean, we, you know, it took us a while to get a run game going. We got to be a little bit more physical at the point of attack. You know, part of the reason I think it took a while was, you know, we saw an entirely different front and, and defense kind of than we had prepared for in a lot of ways. And so we were trying to kind of catch up on the run, um, but I thought our guys adjusted well and, and did some good things. So, 
you know, we've got to got to just be physical and consistent. Like I said, I love the love the rotation. Um, I think it, it, it's a big deal when you can kind of keep those guys fresh and and uh, create some competition. And there's a lot of competition going on right now, and so I, I'm pleased with that group. What are your thoughts on how Janelle uh, performed on Friday? You know, good. I mean, I think. You know, he's young. I think he made some mistakes that young guys make from time to time, but, but he showed up a lot. I mean, he made a lot of plays. You know, like anything else, the more he plays, the better he'll play. Um, you know, just still learning. You know, there's, there's a lot that we ask our safeties to do. There's a lot from a communication standpoint. Um, you know, safeties kind of, you know, you hear that, 40s, the new 30. Well, safeties are the new linebackers in a lot of ways. I mean, those those are the guys that kind of run the defense now, um, probably more so than linebackers. And, and so, you know, th we're asked him to do a lot, um, but I thought he I thought he did some good things. You know, I thought he I thought he defended well. I thought he tackled well for the most part. Um, I think he's going to take that game and learn a lot from it. And I think he'll be a, a lot better player, um, you know, as we move forward. But, but overall, I was, I was pretty pleased with, with what he did defensively. With the defense, new system, new coach, thought the adjustments from the first to second half showed up quite a bit. Would you agree that? Yeah, yeah, I thought we were really, really good in the third quarter. I mean, I think they made one first down in, in the third quarter. And I think our guys just kind of settled in, you know. Um, if you go and you look at the game, we created a lot of negative plays. We let them off the hook on some third down and longs. A lot of it was quarterback scramble um, or keeping a play alive and, and completing a pass. You know, it was kind of off schedule stuff, probably more than it was, um, you know, on schedule. We just gotta, you know, just gotta ensure that that didn't happen. We lost, we lost contain once or twice. We gotta make sure we keep contain uh, on the quarterback, not let him get out of pocket. Uh, but overall, I thought it was a really, really good performance, especially for the first time out. I um, thought it was very clean. I thought those guys played with a lot of confidence. I thought they played fast. They knew what to do and how to do it. Um, and again, I expect us to you know, Im improve significantly as we you know, get game reps. Coach, uh, to Travis Broughton looked like he had a really good game. He did, yeah. Walking down their primary receiver. Can you talk a little bit? How yeah, yeah, I was really pleased. I mean, I thought he played his tail off, honestly. I think, you know, he was our defensive player of the week. I thought it was very well deserved. Um, you know, you got to give uh, Stanford a lot of credit. I mean, they tried to get the ball to their, to their playmaker down the field. And other than the one, you know, exceptional catch the guy made, I thought, I thought Brock really played about as well as he could play. I thought he played physical. I thought he was smart. He was in position. Um, you know, the one thing I really thought that was officiated very well in that game was, was pass interference. I think it was officiated well on both sides of the ball. Um, I was encouraged, you know, not to see a ton of flags. You know, I don't think anybody wants to go to a football game and, and see a bunch of flags. And I was encouraged really watching college football on Saturday and Sunday and, and Monday, um, that they're letting letting guys play on the back end. You know, it's a really tough call to officiate, and you know, I like the direction that it seems like that we're going in in college football in terms of letting those guys, you know, compete. Uh, and so anyway, he did that. He did it at a high level. Um, really thought he played well. Played again with a lot of confidence. You can tell he's he's played a lot of snaps. And uh, was, to me, that was probably, if not the most important aspect to, to winning that game, it was certainly up there. You know, just our ability to be able to, to contain him and, and in particular not give up a bunch of big plays. Because, you know, you look at me at 270 yards, I think, in the second half last year against Colorado. Um, and, you know, a big portion of that was on Travis Hunter. So I thought, I thought JT played really well. Coach, what would you make of uh, Josh's outing overall? And what was your conversation he, with him at the half of that moment? Yeah, you know, good. I mean, I, I thought he played really well. You know, I think that there's a little bit of debate about the fumble. You know, probably in hindsight, we probably should have called time out there. I don't know that we were completely set. I think we were a little discombobulated. But we had two timeouts, and our thought was let's run the ball, get a timeout, and, and try to see if we can steal something. But, you know, 
I think we were rushed. They, they put the clock in, or the, they spotted the ball and, and put the ball in play pretty quickly. And so I think in hindsight, I probably should have called a timeout. And anyway, that's, that's a good learning experience. I mean, we just can't put that ball in jeopardy in that situation. And I think, um, you know, Josh is still learning, still a young quarterback, you know, and doesn't have a full season of starts under his belt. And my hope is in the future we don't make that mistake. That was a costly, costly mistake. And like many of them in that game, it just kind of kept us from, you know, being able to create any kind of separation. Coach, in 22, you guys had an older team. You knew how to finish games. Yeah. Last year, you kind of said they didn't know how to finish games. Yeah. And there's been discussion that maybe last year's team couldn't have won that game against Stanford on Friday. Did you feel a little bit of that moxie returning? From I did, that? yeah. No, I definitely did. I mean, I think that – Look, I think that, that the, um, what happens when you get in those situations is, as a player, you have, you get your confidence from your preparation. And, you know, this was a, a prepared team, you know, and, and what I mean by that is, you go back to, to January and February, and the amount of work that we put in from a football standpoint, and then spring ball over the summer, you know, this team was ready to play. And I think that they had a lot of confidence in their preparation. And I think that's why you didn't see us panic. I think that's why we closed the game out as well as we did. Um, you know, we were just ready to play. And you know, we didn't play, you know, particularly clean. And we made some critical mistakes. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think this group was confident. And I think they believe in each other. I think the offense believes in the defense and the defense in the offense. And, uh, I think that they, those, these guys have confidence that, you know, we can make plays when we need to. Uh, now we're going to have to prove that, that we can, but we did, we did Friday.